Noah Presgrove, who was just 19 years old, tragically lost his life. His body was discovered on the side of Highway 81 in Jefferson County, Oklahoma, on September 4, 2023. Noah, whose full name was Noah Alexander Presgrove, was born on May 14, 2004, in the small town of Duncan, Oklahoma. He was the son of Victor Presgrove and Casey Elliott. Over the years, Noah's family grew and changed, blending with step-parents and step-siblings. According to his obituary, Noah had around eight siblings in total. The family spent their summers with their grandmother, enjoying activities like tubing and water skiing. Noah was very active in sports. He ran track and cross country, played football, and wrestled. His brother Dalen described Noah as a funny person who loved to joke around, but never at someone else's expense. He was known as the class clown and often got detention, but he was also very popular and athletic. At the age of 17, Noah chose to become legally independent from his parents and went to live with his grandmother. According to his obituary, Noah had a very outgoing and spontaneous personality. He was a country boy who loved the outdoors and water activities, and he also enjoyed skateboarding. He had a natural charm and was known as a ladies' man. Noah was a loyal friend to everyone who knew him. He excelled in sports at Comanche High School, earning letters in football, wrestling, cross country, and track. He was also a member of the Ray of Hope Church. Dalen started working at Comanche High School, where Noah was a student and the two brothers grew closer in the last years of Noah's life. Dalen fondly remembers seeing Noah in the hallways between classes. This job allowed them to spend more time together and strengthen their bond as brothers. Noah was often seen driving an old, beat-up red truck that had a tendency to stall. Instead of paying to get it fixed, Noah would simply push start it everywhere he went. This quirky habit was just one of the many things that made Noah unique and memorable. After his graduation in 2023, Noah Presgrove decided to take a gap year, giving himself time to explore his options and figure out his next steps. He couldn't afford college, so he looked into wrestling scholarships and considered other careers like welding or working on a shrimp boat in Texas. Over the Labor Day holiday in 2023, Noah attended a house party in Terrell, Oklahoma. The party lasted for four days, and during this time, some images and videos from the party were made public. In two videos, Noah is seen daring his friends to slap him across the face while they partied under an outdoor patio. He kept insisting that a male friend hit him, but the friend only gave him a light tap before running away, fearing Noah's reaction. Another photo from the party showed a teenager holding a rifle with Noah in the background. Further details about the party and the events leading up to Noah Presgrove's disappearance emerged from his autopsy report. The report revealed that Noah had been consuming alcohol, and at one point during the celebration, he engaged in a risky activity. He rode an ATV Ranger vehicle along with several other men, and unfortunately, they experienced a rollover accident. Jack Newton, Noah's best friend and a fellow party attendee, disclosed that the ATV involved in the accident belonged to him. He shared this information in a text message to another friend, explaining that the accident happened around 3 a.m. and that Noah was still alive following the incident. After the ATV accident, Noah returned to the party where he got into an argument with his girlfriend, which escalated the tension. Jack recalled that Noah was very dirty and very drunk, so a couple of girls helped him take a shower. When Noah got out of the shower, he wanted to sleep in one of the girls' beds, but she refused, which upset him. Noah then walked off, leaving the party. He was never seen alive again. Noah was found dead early in the morning of September 4th. The autopsy report revealed that he died from multiple blunt force injuries to his head, neck, torso, and extremities. He had a long list of injuries, including brain swelling, multiple brain lacerations on the cerebellum and temporal lobe, and basal skull fractures that split the middle base of his skull into two parts. He also had multiple rib fractures, a broken molar tooth, a laceration on the left side of his tongue, and four cervical neck fractures. Noah was discovered naked except for mismatched shoes, an Adidas on his left foot and a Hey Dudes on his right, both with grass and debris clumped in the laces. 
The autopsy report also noted that three pieces of a white metal chain and part of a tooth were found several feet from his body, along with a pair of his white printed shorts. Additionally, a clump of hair was found in the highway lane, and another chunk of hair was found on his right butt cheek without blood or tissue. A drawing in black ink of a stick figure person was etched into the side of his right thigh. A toxicology report included with the autopsy showed that forensic toxicologist Angelica Harper conducted a series of drug tests for substances such as amphetamine, methamphetamine, fentanyl, cocaine, opiates, PCP, barbiturates, and benzodiazepines. None of these drugs were found in Noah's system, although alcohol was detected. Harper also noted that the tests were not designed to detect oxycodone, methadone, or clonazepam. Jack spoke about the state of Noah's injuries. Bro, everyone that saw Noah at the viewing, including me, saw his face was beat up bad. He wrote in a message shared with DailyMail.com. I know what a beat up face looks like. Definitely not just me saying that. Everyone that saw him said that. Looks like he got beat up by five dudes. Others who saw his body mentioned that it looked like his nose and cheek were broken. It still leaves a lot of things up in the air, Dalen said. An accident occurred, and we don't know what that accident is, so the next approach is figuring out how it played out. He expressed frustration that, despite the investigation going on for so long, and with so many people around at the time, there is still so much uncertainty. It doesn't make sense that a good person like Noah is gone in such a cruel and unknown way, he added. Sarah Stewart of the Oklahoma Department of Public Safety confirmed to People in an emailed statement on May 2nd that the investigation is not over. However, she noted that after numerous interviews, investigators do not believe that Noah was murdered. Noah's mother, Casey, has spoken to the media, expressing her anguish and pleading for answers. She told KSFUO, I need the peace because I'm really, I kill myself every day. Please, somebody, please. You know, just something, anybody. Noah's grandmother, Deborah Presgrove, also voiced her frustration to News Nation. I have respect for law enforcement, but I just don't feel like they're doing enough right now, she said. Deborah mentioned that she tried asking Noah's friends for answers, but received conflicting stories. I've talked to a few myself, only the closest ones that I feel like I could, but not really getting anything out of them. I mean, one of them, I've gotten a couple of stories, two different stories out of his mouth, and another one, I've gotten three different stories out of his mouth. So, you know which story is true? She said. She also expressed her hope that Noah's best friend, Jack Newton, had nothing to do with his death. I just pray to God Jack has nothing to do with it. You know, in my heart, I just pray to God Jack has nothing to do with it. You know, I mean, because I love Jack. But, you know, that was Noah's best friend, and where was he? I mean, I hate to put that on him. But, you know, I just keeps going into my head. They've done wrong, they've done wrong, and they need to stand up and be a man about it. You know, regardless. She added, It's hard to believe that you can have friends like that, and they all just stabbing you in the back. There are several theories about what happened to Noah. One theory suggests he was forcibly pushed from the bed of a moving truck near the blood spot and then staggered along the road before collapsing. The initial belief that he was killed in a hit and run was ruled out because his injuries didn't include any damage to his lower body. According to correspondence with investigators shared with DailyMail.com, Noah suffered massive blunt force trauma to the back of his head, causing skull fractures, but this wasn't what killed him. Instead, he died from internal bleeding in his torso, which had several broken ribs and deep bruising on his left side. The teenager's body also showed signs of what looked like road rash on his left shoulder and hip, and his fingers were torn up as if he had been desperately clinging to something. Despite these severe injuries, only one spot of blood was found at the scene. Noah's body was discovered within the two white lines on the road, and his teeth were found within the circles nearby. Noah Preesgrove of Comanche, Oklahoma, was found on the side of the road, and it initially appeared to be a hit and run. However, the death has now been labeled as suspicious and a possible homicide. 
It seems that Noah was beaten and run over with an ATV before being placed on the roadside to cover up what happened. This all supposedly took place during a big three-day party with many witnesses, but everyone has gone quiet. Being a small town, rumors of a cover-up are spreading, with some saying that three brothers, who were Noah's friends, did it over a girl. Noah's grandmother has previously posted about him being attacked with a golf club, adding to the suspicion. Allegedly, the people who own the house where the party was held might have connections with local police and judges, further fueling the cover-up rumors.